today we are making these Nutella filled marshmallows. So let's get started. So step number one, you need a mold. I'm using a heart shaped mold. I'll link it down below for you. And I am filling it with pink colored chocolate. You can use any kind of chocolate that you like. Obviously I went for pink because I mean like, can you tell that I like pink? And it's like it's Valentine's day, so of course. And then you're gonna pop that into the fridge to set, or if you're using candy melts, just leave it at room temperature and they will set on their own for you. And now we're going to make our homemade marshmallows. So this part is a little labor intensive, but it's so good. If you've made this recipe before, tell everybody in the comments that it's worth the effort because it is so good. So first we're gonna get some water, pour it into your mixing bowl, and we're gonna sprinkle some gelatin on top. And then while that is setting, because you want the gelatin to develop, so it takes about five minutes, we are going to heat the sugar mixture. And now it does involve boiling sugar, and like personally that terrifies me, but I have only burnt myself once through this recipe. I think you can even see it, I have a scar. But it was just because I was stupid, it wasn't because there's like something terrifying about this recipe, so don't worry. So we're gonna travel from my studio to my kitchen, which is like just next door, because the studio is like in the room next to my kitchen, if you're curious. Um, but anyway, back to the kitchen, or to the kitchen we go, and we are mixing some more water and some sugar. I just heated it up until it reached 230, no, 237 degrees, oh no, 238 degrees Fahrenheit. You know, you think I know after making this like a million times. So once the sugar gets to the temperature, we're going to pour that mixture on top of our gelatin that has been setting. Whisk it by like holding the whisk just a couple times to ensure that everything is nicely incorporated. And then I beat it on high speed for about eight minutes on it till it becomes wonderful and fluffy and marshmallow-like. At this point, I added some vanilla seeds. So if you never use a vanilla bean seeds, it's like way more expensive. Like <laughs> there is, can you hear Paddington? Oh my God, he's so naughty. He's like upstairs barking. It's midnight right now, honestly. Um, so there is artificial vanilla extract and then next tier is like pure vanilla extract and then like top, top, top tier are vanilla beans and so like obviously they're the most expensive but they're so good and it like, oh, it's just, it's so nice. So if you want to treat yourself, go, go get a vanilla bean, you just like split it down the middle and like take the seeds, scrape the seeds out. And I just mix it a little bit more and our marshmallow is done. So. All of our effort is going to create that delicious, stretchy, wonderful, light, fluffy marshmallow. But for the part that is the most important to you, and I totally understand, is the Nutella. So, <laughs> I screwed up again. Um, so in my mind, when I was visualizing, when I was visualizing this recipe, um, I wanted to fold the Nutella into the freshly whipped marshmallow and have just like ribbons of Nutella pouring in and it was gonna be magnificent and you can see me trying and then you see like something happens and it's like, what? I don't know why. Maybe it's like this particular marshmallow recipe. I don't know. Nutella just doesn't wanna be with marshmallow. It's like not a good relationship even though I think it would really work. So I tried. You can see me trying being like, no, it's okay. This is always what happens in a relationship, right? You think it's gonna work out and you keep pushing, you keep hoping it's gonna work and it's not. Oh my God, this is like Valentine's Day too. It all works out really well. Well, it, it doesn't, but the end result does because I figured out how to make it work. So I was true to myself. <laughs> This recipe just realized what it needed. So it ditched that like folding in Nutella crap, broke up with that. And it decided that it might prefer to envelop the Nutella instead of being folded in with it. And if this isn't enough Nutella for you, because I don't blame you, I also filled it in pancakes and that was one of the most delicious things I think I've ever eaten ever. So check it out after this and you can have like a whole Nutella banquet. If you do that, I'll be really, really jealous. <laughs> So it creates like a little marshmallow bowl. And then I pop the Nutella into a piping bag as well. And then pipe that into the middle and then just piped more marshmallow on top. This was so fun to do. I don't know what about it. It's just so incredibly satisfying. Also, I wanted to say that I haven't just like suddenly gotten terrible at baking and stuff like that in the recent videos. I know I've been like sharing when I've messed up, but like this was normal. This is normal 
forever for like the six or nine years or whatever that I've been uploading videos. I just showed you guys like the recipe that worked because like I thought that's what you wanted. Um, but like according to Daryl Eves and his team who are like my YouTube mentors now, they're like, we're trying to get better, okay? Like this channel's gonna blow up. I don't know when, but like we're getting there. And um, <laughs> so they're like, show your personality. So I'm like, okay, okay, I'm gonna show you what like actually happens and like sometimes it doesn't go wrong okay i'm not that awful but sometimes it does and so that's why i'm sharing it with you so i hope that like my credibility isn't actually tanking um because <laughs> because it's been like this forever <laughs> so, yeah but i hope you're enjoying it and if there's anything you want changed or you want me to do literally anything like it doesn't matter what it is comments please please tell me <laughs> So then we are going to spread some more chocolate on top to like cap everything off and seal it in. And then we're gonna let it set at room temperature overnight. And now is the most fun part. We are going to unmold them. This is the way it deserves to be open. You like break the heart. Wow, like I did not plan for this to be so like relationship themed. And what do we do when we have a compact little chocolate marshmallow Nutella thing? We turn it into a hot chocolate bomb. Oh my gosh, this wasn't even intentional, but how cool. Anyways, I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys next Saturday for a new video.